Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this really smooth random edits effect. We'll be using Sapphire to do this, and it looks extremely smooth. So let's just get into the video. So in my timeline, you can see I have these two clips right here pulled up on our timeline. But I also have a marker where I want the effect to happen. So I'll go into my first marker and just trim my layer right here. My first layer according to the marker. If you don't already know, you can hit Ctrl Shift D on a keyboard to like to like split your layer and in the split it cut right here we just gonna add the effect called random edits from sapphire so just search up like sapphire random edits right here and after you add it on to that part after you add sapphire random edits to the cutout it will actually create this like flickering image type of effect as you can see which looks really smooth already but i have some ways to like spice it up so firstly after this i like to add like a rsmb firstly uh this is also a plugin right here if you don't have rsmb be I recommend using like CC Forge Motion Blur or some shit right there to replicate this effect right here. But I'll be just using RSMB right here. And in RSMB, just set the value to one, the blur amount. So it has some like blur as it like switch through scenes and just bring up the blur sensitivity right here. So it has some smooth motion blur right there. As you can see, that looks extremely smooth. As you can see, that makes it even more smoother right there. Then after that, you can add something like black and white. You can really play around with black and white. Like if you don't like black and white, you can, you can of course not add it, but I'll be using black and white. Then with it, I like to add like a curves and just like push the shadows and bring up the highlights a little. So something like this. So we have this like silhouette kind of effect going on. Looks pretty hard, I guess, as you can see. Maybe that's too much. Maybe i'm gonna lower down a little bit now to make the transition even more smoother i'll be making an adjustment layer right here adjustment layer and, and just trimming it to one frame you, you can use those bracket key on your keyboard to do that right here as you can see it is one frame and just put this one frame on the end of your clip like your end frame of your first clip and just add like exposure in there and just bring up the exposure around like six or five so we really have that flash transition right there if we play it through you can see we have that flash going on and now we can duplicate this one framer put this around here so it also has that another flash so it also like ends with the flash and if we have my preset essential effects you can use it to spice it up as well so let me just show you how to use it so to add it i'm just gonna make a new adjustment layer right here and just trim it on my third clip right here and put this before the flash actually and after you download the presets which will be in the description if you want to check it out you can just go over to your animation preset user preset and essential effects and in here you can find like some transition preset and use the those but for me i'm just gonna use the assim best wiggle because i think this single preset right here is one of the best presets i have ever made all my life and now if you play it through you can see we have that crazy wiggle going on makes it even more smoother and looks super cool as well so if you like actually manually sit down to create this wiggle right here it will like take you like 15 minutes or something like that to master it like all the graphs and stuff but in my preset pack it is just like drag and drop so i really recommend my essential effects to everybody if you are just starting out on music video or if you are even a pro editor i think my preset pack really can help you out so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description it's on my site but anyways with that our final effect looks something like this so that's it for this video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace